Anderson. Okay. okay, good afternoon and welcome to Cooking for Company. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, last week we made a delicious strawberry almond vinaigrette over dark spinach leaves and that is on the website youcook.com. And today we are going to be making something a little bit more complicated. Don't get worried. Um, a, we are going to be making a California sushi roll. Now it can be very complicated depending on how you want to make it, but I'm going to show you just the basics. We're gonna learn all of the things that you absolutely have to have when you're making sushi, and then you can be creative with whatever you wanna add on top of that. So I'm gonna set this aside. Hopefully this is what our end product is gonna look like. Okay, so the hardest part about sushi is the rice. So a lot of people, when you're boiling the rice, it takes an hour to prepare, and to get that um, specific sticky quality, it's very difficult. So I'm making it easy, and I'm suggesting that you go buy any kind of kit that already has prepared rice. So I just bought a, a kit from Fresh. So it's already prepared, it has the rice in it. So what you do is the kit comes with a package of rice and it serves three. And so you pop the rice in the microwave, you put it in the microwave for three minutes and then it comes with a little packet of uh, sushi vinegar. So you just stir that in and that way, if you've already got it prepared for you, you can get the rice out of the way and it's easy to do because for a beginner, if you try and go full fledged in to do it very complicated, you'll get discouraged, you might give up, and so this is an easy way to do it. It's a way I suggest for beginners. So once you have your rice ready, the next thing that you all you have to have for, um, for the sushi is nori. Now nori is a thin paper of dried seaweed. So it's basically the structure that holds all the sushi together. It's what holds it in the ball and keeps it nice and uh, firm. And so uh, those are the main two ingredients that you'll need for sushi. And anything else that you want to add, you can pick. Today we're going to be making the California sushi roll. So we're going to have our avocado. We're going to have our avocado. We're going to have fresh cucumber. And we're also going to have some prepared crab meat. Now you can pick any kind of meat, uh, but for the California roll specifically, you're supposed to do crab. Okay, so I'm going to show you three tips to make the beginning uh, easy. So what we're going to do with our mat, uh, we're going to be making a roll that has the rice on the outside of the roll instead of on the inside of the nori. So what we're going to do, the first step is wrapping this bamboo mat in plastic wrap. Otherwise, because the rice is so sticky, it would get caught in all those cracks and crevices and you wouldn't be able to have a nice clean roll. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay it out right here, okay, put a long enough piece and I'm awful with cutting plastic wrap. Oh, I did it in pretty nice, looky there. Okay, so I want to make sure you have all of it covered and spread it out. This is very important. If you don't, if you don't do this step, it'll be a mess. I made sushi for the first time, forgot this step. I had sushi rice in my hair, in my eyelashes, on my pants. People were telling me, I got comments all day long, um, you have something in your hair, so make sure you put this plastic on. Okay, so let me make sure we get just a little bit more. I want to make sure it's covered. Now the side that you want up for rolling is the side that has it smooth across the top. So we're going to go like this, make sure we have that across the top. Okay. So once we've got that all prepared, you can set it aside. Now the trick for getting the uh, rice smooth is you're going to dip your hands in the water before you touch the rice. So we're actually, we're going to set that aside first and we're going to prepare our nori because that's the first step. So this is a full sheet and the packet, any kind of packet you get usually comes with three. So what we're going to do is just split it in half, right like that. We're only going to use a half of a nori roll. So you split it both ways and then it should, well, okay, Let's see if I can get it. Okay, perfect. Oh, I just ripped it. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go like this. All right. We'll be back for a word from our as an athlete, you train hard day in and day out. Sweat is nothing to you, but hard work paying off. However, this dedication of yours may leave you feeling exhausted throughout the day. Indrate is a sports drink that not only hydrates you, which revives your body naturally, but also gives you a boost of energy to get you going in your busy day. Indrate, energy and hydration all in one. All right, welcome back. Um, after we heard our word from our sponsor, Indrate. 
So what we've done is we have prepared our mats with our plastic wrap and our nori. And I was a little messy. I rushed it, so I ripped it, but it happens. So we have, see, you see I ripped it. Everyone make mistakes. That's okay. That's why we're beginners. The more you practice, the easier it's going to get. So you know what? I think I'll go ahead and retry because I want to make sure we have enough nori. Because if we don't, the structure of the roll will not hold. Okay. I'm going to go like that. And you know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut it just to be safe. Right there. Okay. So we've got that there. Now what we're going to do, this is the hard part. Dip your hands in the water. If you do not, it's going to be an awful mess. Dip your hands in the water, get some rice, and smush it on there. This feels kind of icky, but it'll taste good, I promise. See, this is a very good recipe to cook for guests because it sounds like it's really complicated, but if you get the beginner's kit and you follow my simple instructions, it's so easy and they don't have to know. They can think you spent hours laboring in the kitchen when really it only took 10 minutes. All right, so once we've got that, all squished on there. Make sure you get it all to the edges, but not too far. Otherwise, it's going to crumble under. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to flip it over lengthwise, and we're going to get ready to put in our cucumbers and our avocados. Now, wipe your hands. Oh, okay. There we go. So we're going to have to move it right there. So we're going to go ahead and cut up our avocado. I don't know the proper way to cut it, but the way I usually cut it is I go down like this. You can see what I'm doing there. And you want little pieces, but this is flexible. It's so soft, you can just smoosh it in. They don't have to look pretty, as long as we get that nice green color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop it out um, with a spoon. Scoop out those chunks. Yum. Sometimes I call them guacamoles because I eat so much guacamole, I love avocados. So once we've got that right there, we can set this aside. Wipe your hands a little bit. And we have our cucumber. Okay. All right. Now, you really only need two really little ships of cucumber. And I prefer a little bit of crunch on my California roll, so I'm gonna cut out the middle. You can see that right there. Okay. So you've got that. And I'm going to cut off. See those seeds? I'm just going to cut them off. Slice off the rest in two pieces. That's all you need. So let's go ahead and start plating our sushi. All right. So we're going to have the two slices of um, cucumbers. We're going to pick out, some, pick out the thinner slices of the avocado because if it's too thick, this is a half size sushi roll. So it's going to squish out. You won't be able to cut it and it'll look like a mess. But it's okay. We're beginners, so we'll get it the more we practice. Okay, so we got that on there. So wipe your hands. Okay. And then I just got some prepared crab meat. You can pick whatever you want, but I felt like this was easier. It takes less time. And since it's already a little crushed up, it's easier to squish in the roll. Okay, so you can just put it right there like that. Now this is the tricky part, the rolling it. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to hold up let me put it a little closer. You're going to hold up this side so that you see that is supposed to go on the inside of the roll. So you're going to hold it up and then you're going to squish the other one on top and roll it over like that and hold it for a good second. Okay. Now the good part, the reason I decided to put the rice on the outside, oh it's sticking. There we go. Is because you can do it with your hands. You can fix that crease so that it won't be so sloppy. You can just squish the rice over. See, like that. Now, picking it off the plastic, see, it's so much easier to pick up off the plastic than it would be that wooden mat. So now that you've got it like that, we're going to put it on our serving platter. I'm going to go ahead and put it on our serving platter right there. Okay, and then we're going to sprinkle some sesame seed on top. Now, this is brown. I toast, you, to, you, you could get it untoasted, but then you'd want to toast it because originally they're white, so you want them toasted. So you're going to go ahead and sprinkle it on top. 15, okay. All right, and there you have it. And we'll put our fresh vegetables on the side and you have a wonderful dish to impress your guests. Thank you so much.